Howdy. Uh, welcome to dark, dark Sunday night streams. It's too hot to turn the light on, and I'm sorry. You're just gonna have to deal with weird dark face because I can't, I can't take it. It's already, it's probably gonna start boiling in here pretty soon with the uh, computer running. So that's where we're at, and that's where I am currently in my life. Happy Sunday. The stream definitely crashed right before I was going to hit the button and I let it do its thing. So hopefully that's a, that's a one time because I edited those parts together. One from when the storm happened and I lost power, which was annoying. It took me two tries to render that video. And then I edited and rendered and uploaded the one, the last one I did where the stream cut out two or three times. And that took all day. I'm not kidding you. Like, I didn't think about it. I started at one o'clock, got it together. It's not like it's a big edit, but the rendering took like four hours. And then I told it to upload it. And that took another like four hours. It's a mess. So yeah, here's hoping everything stays good. And we're just going to have a nice chill late stream. It's rain. The thunder has come and gone. I'm not worried about the power going out. We're just going to enjoy ourselves. So let's hit the button. Ooh, ah. Uh, last we left off. Um, I had just got back here. And I also realized, listening to the stream, maybe I need to turn down some settings. <laughs> like the music. There were some fights. That it was like, ooh, voices can stay, sound effects. Just gonna knock that down a little bit. Yeah. That uh that last big There's fight I did. It. it was wild. The sound was wild. Thankfully I wasn't talking very much while I was doing that, so it wasn't too big a deal, but it was rough. Still alive, I see. Barely, bruh. Something tells me that I saw on the horizon is your doing. <laughs> what? How'd you manage that? We would never That's a long story. One that I'd rather only tell once. Right. All hands on deck then. Mm-hmm. I can't believe we can see that giant crystal from here. So guys, it's the end of the world. <laughs> Is this everyone? As I'm sure you've all guessed, the crystal which now commands the eastern skies was summoned by Ultima. He called it Origin. Though the significance of that name is as yet unclear. What does it matter what it's called? Its emergence tore Twinside asunder and wiped my homeland from the map. Ooh, yep. Feel guilty, bitch. Mention of the Dominion Spires can be found in the oldest of Valisthian records. But to the best of my knowledge, none provide any hint as to their true nature. That they would prove the horns of some slumbering demon. Well, the Dominion's demise was at least quick. Elsewhere, the Republican army cannot hope to contain the chaos engulfing Randalar. Canberra is in flames, and the Empire. Our allies are crying out for answers. I've sent the curse breakers to give them what assurances we can, but right now that amounts to fuck all. Yep. They wouldn't be able to stop what the skies have started in any case. People here and across the realm grow sicker with every passing day. Y'all gonna give Could up it be like that? that? This new mother crystal is like the others. That it draws upon the land's ether. It certainly looked that way from stone here. It did. If that were true, it would explain the hastening spread of the blight since the crystal's appearance. Would it not? Indeed. And as the land's ether slowly rises to the surface, it pulls. Corrupting all who cannot channel its energies. 
Arche above, ether floods below, and in the middle, here we languish, hopelessly entrapped. <laughs> it's all right. When we faced him at Stone here, Ultima told us his true power quickens in the halls of origin. Needless to say, we cannot allow that to continue. If we are to stop him, we will have to find a way into the crystal. It's flying. Is it airship time? How are we going to manage that then? It's up in the sky. And fast as she is, the Enterprise can't fly. <laughs> Come on. It's a lot to take in. And I reckon we'd all benefit from some time to clear our heads. The answer will come to us. Don't you worry. Ain't that right, Clive? Right. That's right. Well, go on then. Bugger off. Hmm. Same yes. goes for you, Clive. You won't solve anything like this. Trust me. Go and get some fresh air, right? Oh, the woes of aging. Acid reflux. Thank you. We have probably a ton of side quests to do before the end times are upon us. Joshua seemed upset. Alright, well, what you got, Karen? Ah, it's a dangerous world out there. Indeed, you sent goots to us, you monster. Uh, let's see. Oh, <laughs> out of potions. Blind, you know. Did I use any? I didn't even use any elixirs. That's good. <sighs> Orchestrian rolls, but I don't want to spend my money on them yet. Nothing new here. What do we got? What do we got? Not even close to being better than what I have. So, no. Also no, and then no. Is that all? What does he got? So what do I owe the honor? I may have done this already. I don't remember. Saint Fornian, do you? All right. So defender plus one, which is technically better, and then reinforcements. What's it like? Three forty for both. Okay. But what is this one like? This one's three seventy five. Of course, I don't have these items yet. I don't have the Uri Calcum. I don't have the Dark Steel. Hmm. Do I have what I need to even do this twice? I should be able to do this. Nope, not better. Not better. Okay, we'll do the we'll do the defender. So we'll do the defender plus one. Should last you a good while. Equip it, and then we're gonna reinforce it. Actually, why does this say no? <gasps> I don't have clutch hey. buying. Son of a bitch. Fine. We'll just buy some. We'll just buy clutch mine. It's Still fine. Alive, are you? Man, you I just talked to you. About it. Clutch mine. Okay. Let's get like, I don't know, 40 of them? 60? 60 sounds good. It'd better all be here. Ma'am, you need to calm down. And now, we'll upgrade this one. What's that saying, Fornian, do you? There we go. Yeah, that should mm -hmm. do you. Perfect. It's very bland looking sword. Not, not a big fan of that, but it's fine. I'll take it. Anything new in here? No. No. All right, cool. That's all done. Uh, let's check out the writing table before we go talk to our boy. I'm sure I've got a lot of letters. Hey, the world's ending. Hey, you gonna do something about the world ending? A new life. Oh, it's from Gav. 
While the going was slow and not without the occasional run-in with some straggling orc, I saw Ida back safe to the Shadow Coast, where Mid was waiting kindly with the Enterprise. On the voyage home, I like to think the poor lass opened up a little, telling us about her life and the life she wants for her baby, but I suppose it's up to us now to make certain the little one gets on. Gets it. Mm hmm. It's like the one, the last person to live, survive the kingdom of Waylude. So wild. A whole continent basically gone. What's wrong, buddy? Look at a little tushy. Joshua, come on. You need to work out. Ultima may have created us, but he doesn't make us who we are. Only we can do that. True. And if he would have us fight for our survival, so be it. It's what we've been doing all along. Much like Ultima himself, it would seem. His new world being naught but a means to survive. And so, we must contend to decide which of us shall inherit the land. Should Ultima prevail, it will mean death for us all. Of that, we can be certain. But even should he fail, what world awaits us? A withered, godless place where our newfound freedom will most like prove a chain in itself. Well, that may be, but a chain can always be broken. As long as one has the will to break it, it won't be easy. It may take generations, centuries of suffering. And that is if everyone plays their part. But it will happen. And when it does, it will be on our terms. That is the world that awaits us. <laughs> Indeed. And what better world could one wish for? But first, we have to reach that crystal. Then it's a good thing I have wings. You can barely stand, let alone fly. And only the founder knows what horrors await in those skies. Are you certain about this? Am I certain? I am the Phoenix. I will do what I must. This is our fight. Remember? Brothers. Hmm. Sweet boys. All right. I yield. <laughs> but only what you must. Yes. I am still your sworn shield. That you are. And what of my wings? Ooh, Papa. Lest you forget, you go to stand against a god. I would not have you succumb to fatigue before the fight begins. Ifrit, your brother mentioned that some few of the dominants who had lost their power to you were still able to prime. Is that true? It is. But their icons no longer submitted to their will. Ah. Then mine will have to be stronger. Bruh. That you both might save your strength for the battle to come. Please don't you take don't the arm to do this. Me. If you do, there's a chance you might lose all you have left. And what have I but regret? My life ended in the Dominion. I fear death no more. Besides, I would have words with Ultima. He has much to answer for. We are in your debt, Dion. We can speak of debts when this is over. Please don't kill Dion. 
I'm so scared of we're so close to the end and I have all these people that I actually like in the game and I'm like please don't kill them please don't let them die <laughs> he speaks like a man who knows he's not coming back god damn it has come to terms with that that doesn't mean that we have to does it Kaif time to talk to Jill I only hope she understands. Where is she? Oh, she's on the balcony. Hey. Come to wish on a star. Such a bad idea. This is it, Jill. Oh my god. You know what I have to do? Why well, I have to do it? There's no turning back now. This is where our journey was leading us, where it will end for better or worse. I could pray to Metia for you. But you'll be all right, won't you, Clive? You always are. I did promise we'd watch the moon together. I'll be waiting. All these interactions are giving me more and more fear. Oh. It's almost time. Oh. Oh, we've opened up. There's a lot going on. Oh my god. Okay. Better make sure I haven't forgotten anything. Um Right. Okay. In a mood. In case you haven't noticed, your poor hound spends all of his time of late. On the rear deck, whimpering like Gab in his cups. <clears throat> Something ain't right, and my gut tells me it's not to do with his supply of antelope bones. What is it this time, Torgal? We gotta make sure Torgal is up for the end of the world before we go in there. We'll do our reading table ones. Reluctant as I am to add to your burdens, I would ask your aid in a personal matter, albeit one that may be beneficial in your, in your cause. There exists ancient texts deemed so injurious to modern thought that mere possession is deemed a crime, and it, ha it was a chance encounter with one such tome from a distance that sparked within me the scholastic curiosity which burns to this very day. I wish to enlist your aid in reclaiming that text. Should you require further incentive, know that I am willing to offer compensation for services rendered. Okay. Something tells me this is no mere adventure story. Okay. All right. Let's go. There's so many quests. I'm not going to pick them all up. We're just going to start with these two. Where's Torgal? Oh, there he is. Okay. I want to go talk to the man that has all the side quests, because I'm curious. There's a ton here. A ton. Ridiculous numbers of side quests I've gone too far. No, let me back out. Let me out! <laughs> I went too far. I was talking. But yeah, lots of side quests here, so I wonder if there's even more in the other areas. I feel like there's going to be. Oh, Dion. Inside's hundreds of leagues. Hip, Better hip, buddy. Drive. What's going on? Look. Okay, there's one there. None there. Two here. Okay. None in Waylu. Okay, so it's really not that bad. The majority are here. So let's get started. We'll talk to Vivian. 
Vivian, I read your note, and I'd be happy to help you find the book you're looking for. Thank you, Clive. But tracking it down will not be easy. Are you sure? Of course. Please. You have always granted me your wisdom and insight whenever I asked. It's only right that I return the favor. Or at least attempt to. You are too kind. Alas, what I ask of you is rather more trying than delivering the odd lecture. I spoke with Harpocrates to see if he had any inkling as to where another copy might be found, but... But perhaps it is best that you hear the details from him. Hmm. If you say so. Forgive me, Clive, for asking this of you. But this book, it set me on the path to becoming who I am today. Its importance cannot be overstated. Maybe it has some special information about, you know, all the shit that's been going on. Oh my god, there's so many quests. We gonna be busy. I'm hoping that some of these give me some, you know, items for crafting or something. I'm still trying to craft the sword before the end of the game. The supposed ultimate sword. Ah, Clive, my boy. What a pleasure it is to see you. Hippocrates. There's something I need to ask you. I've been charged with locating a book called From a Distance. And you seek a rare gem indeed. One whose name I had not thought to hear from your lips. You've been talking to Vivian. Mm -hmm. Right as always. But she didn't seem keen to tell me very much. I take it she didn't like what you had to say. And yet I gather it did not to dissuade her. Clive, if the young professor has tasked you with obtaining a copy, I fear she asks the impossible. The executors would not allow it. The executors? Coveters of Secrets. A clandestine organization committed to the collection and intenebration of forbidden texts and technologies. Mm -hmm. One such text being the tome Vivian seeks. Chronicling as it does, the true history of the enslavement of bearers. Oh. A tale which could overturn the established order were it ever to become widely known. Or, so rumor has it, I've never actually read the thing, or even set eyes on it for that matter. How is it that I haven't heard of this organization? Why, secrecy is the executor's watchword. They lurk in the shadows, emerging only to seize that which must be seized, be it books, inventions, or people. Before disappearing again, leaving Mary a trace. What is with the super Which secret society in this game? snatched from her grasp not long after she found it. By the hand of the executors, yes. But what drives them? Self-interest or ideology? Fine question. Sadly, all that is known of the executors can be recounted in a single breath. You may just as soon ask me of their origins, numbers or the identities of their leaders. Any answer I give would be pure speculation. How about the undying now? My hunt was doomed from the first. What was Vivian expecting? That I'd pluck it from thin air? Not from thin air, no. From ash. What? Rumors of the executors are rife among the scholars of Storm, but rather less so across the strait. I have a friend, well, I had a friend, in the village of Garnick, a collector of rare tomes, upon which subject we would oft correspond. Alas, I have heard naught from him since the skies fell dark, and no doubt he too has turned. Yep. But, though he did not mention it by name, it is possible that a surviving copy of From a Distance yet rests upon one of his many shelves, quietly awaiting discovery. If you were, by some chance, able to save even a single book from the poor man's library, I know his soul would rest easier. Very well. When I next find myself in Walud, I'll be sure to pay Garnick a visit. Okay. So I need to go to Garnick. 
Let's go check on our puppers. Pretty sure all of these little quests are going to be done with me, myself, and Dog. Say what you will. Lady Karen is seen on What's wrong, buddy? Torgal. Hiding for something, boy. What is it? What do you see out there? Are you going to use your magic and Never talk to us? ask where you got that anklet of yours. From Sade, that's why. On the day I brought him home. How long ago? And you're only thinking to ask this now? Sid <sighs> saw that the pup had a habit of gnawing on his leg, since you ask. Clap that there iron on him to keep him from doing it. Hmm. What was wrong, boy? I'll take like as not. Must have been hard on the poor whelp losing his loving masters at such a young age. Doubly hard in being a frost wolf, torn away from his icons and all. Sid would always tell him, you want my iron gone, you find what it is you're looking for. I reckon what he was looking for was you. I'm sorry, Togo. Sorry for making you wait so long. Oh. Let's get that thing off you. What? That dog's like, fuck off. Don't touch me. Doesn't sound like he wants it off. <laughs> Indeed. You miss it as much as the rest of us, don't you? No. You want me to go with you somewhere? Quick, aren't you? Glad you've been paying attention. Follow that dog. Not nearly as much as you have, Lady Karen. Aye, good thing and all. It's not like Gav would have kept him in nuts and rubbed his belly these past ten summers. <laughs> Your kindness is appreciated. You've been a good friend to him. Only because he doesn't talk back like the rest of you. <laughs> Go on now. I like her. She She's another one of my favorites. <clears throat> Where to then, Torgal? She's sassy, she's saucy. They did good, like, kind of building her backstory a little bit. Guess we're gonna follow Torgal. Alright, Torgal. Where are you taking me? To your doom! Just kidding. I'm sure it's fine. I'm going to need a little bit more than that, boy. Do you have a better hint for me? Woof. Unless... You've already given me one. Back on the rear deck, you were looking west. Toward Rosaria. Why don't we try the rookery? Okay. I haven't been to the island in... Almost twenty years. I don't recall the this. The is older then. Rookery. Fingers crossed the old mooring is still there. Uh, okay. Good God. Yeah, we're not there yet. <clears throat> So this first, let's go. How is this going to work? I wonder. Let's go to the beach. Beach. Let's go to the wave. Wave. Oh, are we at oh, worship shit? Okay. Let's go on the boat. We're going somewhere. It's still here. After all these years. Oh my god. I hope it's a different boat That's from the last one you remember. remember. And you're a lot bigger. <laughs> you might have to swim, boy. Wolf. <laughs> I wasn't being serious. Oh my goodness. Get in the boat. Ooh, we made it. 
to a weird little place I haven't been to this place before. Hasn't changed. It's got a little baby. Oh, the rookery's right through those trees. Ooh, Come on. Ends. Just picking up random shit. Off the there. I bet I could still be you. Is this like a little kid's hideaway we would go to, I guess? This was our hideaway, wasn't it, Torgal? How'd the dog get up the ladder? Who built this? to forget who I was or wasn't Prince Shield son his mother could love had I been any one of those things perhaps what is it boy This is all from the castle. And Phoenix Gate. Did you bring these here? My sparring sword. Aww. Stop looking for me, did you, boy? Hmm. This is so Thank sweet. Toggle. <laughs> Toggle's the best dog. For never best boy. Up. For never forgetting. Let's take this with us, shall we? So I don't forget either. Oh, where are we going? We keep going? That's not the way back to the boat, Toggle. Woof, bitch. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm coming. I'm a big magic dog. I think I know where we're going. Do you? You seem pretty lost and confused for the majority of this adventure. Ooh. Oh, wow. talk about the importance of putting the past behind you but without him we wouldn't be who we are today and we certainly couldn't steer our way to a better tomorrow come on Togo let's go home Aww. oh am I gonna level up shit Yes, leveled up. Four to seven. Ooh, charged sparring sword. Increased Torgal's attack potency. Cool. Very cool. Very nice. Alright, well, let's go make a way for Garnick. 
Garnack. Jesus. Oh my god. Way the hell down there. Got it. Okay. Let's go. I didn't go there when I was exploring the first time because I kind of figured there'd be something else to do there later. Should probably use my chocobo. Ambrosia. I was just thinking how little I've used this really. Like in the grand scheme of the game, I haven't really used this very much. So many monsters. Nope. Not stopping. Not stopping. F off. Perfect. Alright. You deserve a rest. Thank you, my dear. Gates are open. That's a plus. The entire village looks abandoned. Yes, it does. Now, which house would a bookworm live in? Whichever house can hold the most books. Take that. Do I have to get over the wall? Of course I do. Dang it! Just let me grab it through the wall. Oh, a potion. Cute. Cute and worthless. Ooh. Royal Intelliger Training Report. Okay. Don't this care. is a Royal Army logbook. Did he take this from the local barracks? A treasure chest. Oh. Complete botany of Baines. <laughs> His interests were certainly varied. Folklorist Fabulary. The Moogle. From a distance. Chapter 16. The Fall of the Bears. Oh, I'm very curious. We're going to read this. The, f the emergence of the first magic adepts was widely heralded as a gift from the gods. Indeed, the title with which those with the gift came to be commonly known is most like, likely a contraction of Bear of the Heavenly Blessing, the wording used by the tribunes of the time. Those born with the blessing were landed as, li as living crystals and granted high office and plentiful reward for their status as chosen ones. Over the years, this reverence for their kind would become a full-fledged religion led by bears themselves, a development that would prove fateful. The divers, nations, the divers nations of the time were unanimous of their disapproval of the founding of the church. While the authorities had for years welcomed bears into positions of power in their own structures of state, they were mistrusting of an organization led by bears for bears. Efforts were immediately made to chasten chasten the church and its followers, banning members from holding office, evicting adherents from their homes, and breaking up their meeting by force. The church responded by forming a volunteer army to resist this persecution, and yet it continued, creating a cycle of ever-increasing bloodshed and rancor, and a growing rift between those born with the blessing and those without. What began with the beatings of and street clashes would eventually spill over into an all-out war that consumed the greater part of the twins for nigh a generation and decimated the population of men and bears both, Delu the deluge of blood that stained the land crimson and left an even more lasting mark upon the minds of the Palestinian people. After the bears' last resistance was crushed, the nations of Alistia came together to sign the Continental Accord that initiated the system of slavery that persists across the realm to this day. Its well-known phrase, bears are other than human, has its roots in the bitter war of the years before, being the unblessed only excuse for their calamitous refusal to allow the blessed to decide their own dis destinies. Yes, is it. But if what it says is true, I need to get this back to the hideaway. Why do I have to... Why do I have to walk this way? Why can't I just teleport? The executors are going to come, aren't they? Oh, they coming for me. I can feel it. There's going to be a fight. so soon, stranger. We've been watching you. Mm-hmm. From a distance, so to speak. Yikes. Subtle. <laughs> I know who you are. And we need not waste time on introductions. Hand me the book. 
Leave it in our care and return to your life. Your mm -hmm. care? Do you mean to burn it? Or bury it? That is not my decision to make. But by one means or another, its contents shall be removed from the common record. Then I'll have to politely refuse. I won't let you erase our history. Then we find ourselves at an impasse. Very well. The book can just as easily be pried from your dead hand. Girl, you ain't getting me. You gonna have to try harder. Let's see, shall we? Hmm. Yes, let's. Oh, he's on the floor. Some cover fire. Nice try. Ooh. Come on, one more. Just uh, there we go. All right, let's get started. him real quick. Quick face. Do better. Too bad. <laughs> Damn it. Oh my god, I'm really fucking up here. Yeah. Cut. Center Tsuku. There we go. Not so bad. That wasn't so bad. I was worried. Cool. You guys are dead. Hmm, more, more goodies. Oh, you're back. You want to try again? Impressive. But we have other means. We shall claim the book yet. Why do you want it so badly anyway? It lays out in no uncertain terms the vanity and avarice of mankind. It tells the shameful history of the persecution and oppression of a gifted few by a giftless many. Would you say that this interpretation was correct? I don't know. You don't know. Your sword may be sharp, but your wits are dull. So let me answer for you. Uh. There is no correct interpretation of history. That a series of events took place may be proved beyond a doubt. But there can be no single, immutable explanation as to why they came to pass. It is a question of numbers and of belief. If enough people believe that a set of events occurred for a reason, that belief becomes the truth. So you're trying to control the truth? We are trying to protect people from themselves, from knowledge that would bring them naught but pain. That is all. You may keep the book for now. The world is small. We shall meet again. Until then. I don't know how I feel about this group now. Wait. Damn it. I bet Let's you. Let's get this back to Vivian. Perhaps she can explain what that was all about. Hmm. I'm very curious. Okay. Let's go back home.
she had to have known that they would come for that book. I bet they have a ton of information that we could probably use in this fight we're about to have. It would be so helpful if they would just cough it up. Vivian. I found it. The book you lost. You... You found it. Thank you, Clive. Even though I asked this of you, I was not entirely sure it would be possible. Well, I am I impossible. the executors had seized every copy. I met with one of these executors, and I convinced him to let me keep it. Uh, did you? He told me something. That the truth is just a matter of collective belief. And that if enough people believe a lie, that lie becomes the truth. It does. But it also means that the truth is not immutable. That it can be changed. Provided that those who wish to change it can convince enough people that their perspective is the correct one. As the sad history of the bearers proves. You said that the book inspired you to become a scholar. It did. Or its author, rather. She was a heretic, you see. A firebrand and a dissenter. A gallows stood ready for her in every corner of the realm. And by shunning society, or perhaps being shunned by it, she stumbled upon a truth so potent that an entire realm trembled at the prospect of its utterance. I, too, have always felt somehow set apart from the world of men. A stranger to my own species. She taught me that my solitude was not a curse, but a gift. And that, though my journey to the truth might be a lonely one, what I found at my destination would be more than worth the cost. Do you still feel that way? That you're not... one of us? Honestly? I'm not entirely sure anymore. Since coming to the hideaway, I find my thinking somewhat... clouded. Hmm. Perhaps the result of studying mankind from a rather closer perspective than I had intended. Hmm. But the more I study, the more I find value in this perspective. In looking not from the outside, but from within. So if you'll permit me, I'd like to continue my work here. Remember, Clive, when enough people believe... Belief begets truth. Give the men and women of this benighted world the gift of truth. Make them believe in you, as I do. I'll try, Vivian. I'll try. <sighs> Definitely can see, like, the error. <laughs> it's like they basically lifted the the bears up in such a way and then I don't know I feel like they got a little full of themselves maybe oh do I get free stuff I like free stuff hello give me free stuff welcome to the patrons whisper what I get what I get Genji gloves I don't know what those Here are, you are. Yet. best of luck out there Sid we gonna have to look wrong button uh, uh, okay. Increases damage dealt to enemies by 5%. Ooh. We like. I like. I'll probably equip that at some point. Okay. Oh, shit. New hunts? What? I'm scared. We're towards the end of the game. I'm scared. An A rank. The Wailing Banshee. Curse Breakers. So this isn't Garnick. Curse Breakers from across the... Cr ah. Curse Breakers from acro came across this creature while searching for survivors near the abandoned village of Garnick. Misled by the Abomination's appearance into thinking she might be a local woman, they went to offer her help, but soon it was they who were seeking salvation. The survivors say they can still hear the screams, both those of the white 
and those of their fallen comrades. Ugh. Okay. I want to do more side quests before I... Wow, and there's already another one at the reading table. Oh my god, there's a bunch. Alright, let's just do more side quests before we start doing hunts. I think that's the Tip, best plan. I was wondering if you could help me. It depends what with. Mm-hmm. A bearer, but recently freed from his bonds, is keen to join the Curse Breakers. Okay. As you know, the work we do is not easy, which is why we test every volunteer's suitability. I was hoping you could oversee this one's evaluation. I don't mind, but why this one? Hmm. Because he wants to be a scout. Oh. Our ranks are filled with men and women capable of breaking chains and putting slavers to the sword. But scouting? We're few with the nose for that, which is why we still rely so heavily on Gav. And since he accompanies you on so many of your missions, I thought you might be better placed to recognize the traits in him that we should look for in those who'd fill his boots. Sounds reasonable. So you're happy to oversee the boys' test, then? Sure. One can never have too many scouts. True story. True words, Sid. I'll let the initiate know that you'll be attending his trial, and that he is to proceed directly to Northreach in readiness. No time like the present, eh? No time like the present. I'll await you there. Perfect. Q. Northreach. I don't suppose they could have chosen somewhere closer. <laughs> Doris, what's wrong? Sid, do you have a moment? For By you, I do. It's my old master. Seems there's no escaping her. She found some way to send me a letter. I thought we were going to kill her. Something else. Records from a Waluda prison. Seems they were keeping a lot of bearers there. How did she come by such a thing? Finding bearers always was her strong point. And it seems the cells of Balmung Dark are full of them. Foreign captives, the masterless. Bearers no one would miss. Uh oh. And even better for her. Bearers with no one to look after them. When Ether started lapping at the walls, the jailers fled. Oh no. Leaving the bearers to be liberated by whoever happened to come along next. Sid, I'd like to believe that I've earned your trust by now. And while I'm well aware that you've forbidden curse breakers from traveling to Walud, I can't let those bearers die in their cells. I'd rather risk shipwreck on the Shadow Coast than leave them to starve. Let's we'll be go, needing girl. the Enterprise if we're going to navigate the narrow. Does that mean we're headed out, girl? We're Let's making go. an exception, but we travel together, and we stay no longer than we have to. Ash is an inhospitable place at the best of times. We save as many as we can, and we leave. Thank you, Sid. There was a name in the prison register, a name from my past, Chadwick, another of my former master's protégés, a gifted soldier, and the closest thing I had to family thought of him held captive in that place he must be very important to you he was is then we find him the entrance to the prison lies in the shadow of ravenwit walls just beyond the portcullis we should head there as quickly as we can i only pray there are still bearers alive to save as do i doris Uh, we'll do Northreach first. <laughs> I don't want to go to Walud yet. <laughs> I hate it over there. It's fucking awful. This place is terrible. It's a shithole. Anyway, Northreach it is. Alright. are standing very strangely. Why do you have Zermatt no idea? might at least have mentioned where in Northridge he'd be testing this recruit. I'm trying to talk do to you this see lady. anything you like? I don't know yet. What do you got? Oh. Heaven's Cloud, huh? Residual dark ether that having increases heaven's cloud damage by I'll 50%. be here if you need me. Okay. Interesting. I'm nervous. Hey. Well met, Sid. This is the initiate. Ember, present yourself. Will you survive the surgery? At your service, master. Please, just Sid. There are no masters here. Your life is your own. 
Oh, of course. Thank you, Sid. The sergeant says you'll be evaluating me at my trial. To become a scout, yes. You are aware of the dangers inherent in that role. I am. But I swore I'd face them. Just like the man who saved my life. And who would that be? Is it Gav? Gav! Huh? It was him who found me and freed me. No I magic, know. no support, just one man and his nose. Came and sniffed me out. It taught me what one man can do if he puts his mind to it. And I've been training ever since, so that one day I can be someone's savior, just like Gav was mine. <laughs> I'm sure he'd be flattered. I'm sure he'd be like a good for some reason. Emma. And it sounds like you're under no illusions. Stick to this path and you'll make a fine curse breaker. So, what? Have I passed? No, bitch. You haven't even started yet. Now listen. Not far from here is an Imperial lookout, East Watch. The guards there record all their sightings in a logbook. You are to find it and bring it here. And bring it here, right. Anything else? No. Sneaking into a heavily guarded Imperial outpost and stealing the logbook would be quite sufficient. You will need to assess the situation, determine a point of entry, create a distraction and effect an escape, all without being discovered and thrown into an Imperial oubliette. Ooh, Remember, oubliette. Gav isn't our best scout because he can do everything. It's essential that you know your limits. Know my limits, right. I won't let you down. I'm nervous. We're nervous. It shouldn't be as dangerous as I made out. But keep a weather eye on him all the same, would you? On my way. <laughs> all right, Ember. Impress me. Oh, okay, I was like, how the hell am I supposed to get up there? I get it now. Oubliette is such a fun word. And one you don't hear very often. It's a pit full of spikes. Let's <laughs> drop them into the oubliette. Why not? Jesus, fuck off. I don't want to deal with that. No, we're, we're busy. I'm busy. Okay, we're going to head up here in a second. Is that a bird? I thought it was a dragon. I got scared. Alright. Up these really shittily made stairs. These are clean kills. Ooh. Perhaps young Ember really is ready. I'm scared. Ah! Shit. Or maybe not. <gasps> Our boy. Damn it. Oh, that's not. I feel like Ember, that's. Draw your sword. Oh God. Then run. Uh, um. If boy. you want him. You'll have to go through me. Alright. Nope. Got some more. Nice try. Nope. <laughs> Come on. You want this? Take that. making pretty short work of this guy. Yeah, I'm in the stagger. Yep. Got him. That was nice. That was good. That was clean. That was a clean sweep of that guy. Ember, are you... Ember? Gone. Of 
course. Scouts really are a rare breed. <sighs> Back to Northreach it is then. I haven't been up here before. <gasps> a treasure chest! Give me that. Kestrel's Beak Braid. I wonder what that is. Hmm. One of the rare occasions I actually get an item I haven't seen before. What to do? Increases down thrust damage by 10%. Interesting. I don't down thrust a lot, so... Not super useful. Okay. Can we just, like... Yeah. We're just gonna fast travel back. <laughs> Why waste all that time walking? A fortress. I get the feeling... Uh-oh, I don't even see him here. Did he make it? Did he die? Did he use me as a distraction? I didn't expect you back so soon. Where is Ember? How did he fare? I thought I'd find him with you. Oh shit! He must have fled. I followed him to Eastwatch, where I found him being set upon by a wild Avis. He was just standing there, didn't even draw his sword. I had to step in and take care of things, but by the time I had, he was nowhere to be seen. I assumed he'd set off in your direction, but apparently not. Oh, I'm sorry, Sid. I knew the boy had a nervous streak, but he seemed like the right man for the job. Who can say? I hope he went and got that book and then can't, just came back. I believe this is the logbook you tasked me with retrieving. Hey, how did you? Don't you tell me you breached the tower while Sid was busy saving your skin. What? Wasn't that what you asked me to do? To bring the thing back without getting caught? He has you then, his heir. And he did it all on his own. But Sid, he... He did what he thought was best. And now I have to decide whether I agree. Of course. We'll await your evaluation back at the hideaway. Did he use me Don't as the distraction? Yes, Sergeant. You said as a distraction. Get in, steal the book, and leave. Wow. Clever. This won't be an easy decision. Alright. <clears throat> well. Oh dear. Another thing I don't really want to do. Yikes. Okay. I thought that was. I didn't think this was going to come up so soon. I thought this was going to be like an arena for some kind of weird special boss fight, but I guess we'll just run in and see what we can do. Doris is waiting for me near Balmung Dark. The longer she's out in the open, the more likely she is to be found by Akashic. I need to hurry. Oh, shit. I don't want to deal with you. Uh, dang it. Yeah. <laughs> Very horrible. Oh, you don't want damage. Toro, do something. I need your assistance. Okay, maybe attack the one that has more health than the one I just killed. Okay. There we go. Gee, I'm done. Let's skedaddle. Almost to level 50. That's another reason why I want to do all the side quests, is get, um... Get my level up. Hey. Good job, Torvald. I'll take care of that one. I'm not doing anything. I'm scared. It's coming for me. Ah. Leave me alone. Three's good enough. I'm scared. Yeah. 
Oh, I love the satellites. Here. Perfect. Easy peasy. She seems... I feel like this is not a good spot for you, ma'am. There were no guards, I take it. None manning the gates, no. It's a different story inside, though. The corridors are crawling with the Kashik. Most likely guards left behind when the wardens ran. Mm. If Chadwick mm. was being held here, I worry that he may already be. Don't give up hope just yet, but let's move quickly. Let me check the ground floor. The ether's thick is there. Then I'll search the upper level. Good luck, Sid. Stay safe. Just how bad are the floods inside the walls? I'm scared. Bad enough to turn a bit. Locked up tight. Hmm. So I can't go that way? Okay. Said to use a key. I apparently don't have a key. Let's go. I'm gonna go this way instead. I see an Akashic. Nope. Damn, we do a lot of damage. It's over. Perfect. It's easy enough. What's this? Inspect it. Balmung Dark, root of designation. The King of Waylude hereby designates this facility a prison for the detainment of bears, both foreign and domestic. The purpose of this facility is to rear and train Akuza beasts for deployment in the field. Oh, shit. The aforementioned purpose is a matter of strictest secrecy, and any mention thereof is to be punishable by death. Captive bears have been provided solely for the pursuit of the aforementioned purpose. Express permission is required for use of bears in any other capacity. So this place was no ordinary prison. The hell's a Kuza? I have taken the creature with them when they fled. Where's Doris? Hmm. Ooh, treasure chest. Got stairs that go up. I don't really need to go. Nope, we're not going up yet. Stay down here. Want some of this? Let's try. I'm gonna get a level one, bitch. No, I mean, I didn't really have a lot of points on that, but I don't try and backstab me. Fuck like an Odin sword, bitch. Fuck you. That's right, you get it. Got, got. Ooh, another thing to inspect. I'm scared. Recommendation concerning Kuza beast deployment. The Kuza has long been recognized as an especially aggressive species. This being the case, it has hoped it was hoped that successful deployment on the battlefield might be a means of inflicting heavy casualties on the enemy. In exercises conducted thus far, however, the beast has proven incapable of distinguishing between allied and enemy combatants, as such deployment alongside regular troops is not recommended. It is proposed instead that bear captives be employed in order to draw enemy focus, and the beast then dr driven into the fray in order to achieve maximum benefit while minimal loss of waylord or lives. Minimal loss of waylord or lives. Yikes. And what happens when they run out of bearers? Even the Imperials take better care of their branded than that. This some dark shit. Is that a key? Nope. Oh dear. Memorandum Memorandum on Kuza Beast feeding. 
Recently, supply shortages left us with insufficient resources to feed the Kuza entrusted to our care. Fortunately, the creature was observed to kill and consume the bears assigned to fight beside it in a mock battle conducted as part of its training. Oh my god. The beast was further observed to enter a state of visible contentment upon feeding in this way, suggesting that live bears may even be its preferred source of sustenance. While this behavior is unexpected, it is not unwelcome. Bears no longer of use for training purposes can now be repurposed as required. They were feeding bears to it. This is even worse than I feared. Oh, man. Nothing but a Kashik down here. Hopefully things are looking better upstairs. I doubt it. I should go and see how Doris is getting on. I'm scared. Very scared. Uh oh. you get I wonder if I should take care of these other ones down here too probably should just to go ahead and do this coming for you oh, that was easy uh, I thought there would be more to that um is this right should I do this oh a treasure chest all right. Yep. It was just a treasure chest. It's nothing, nothing else. So that's fine. I was scared. I'm not seeing any peoples, and I get the feeling I'm gonna have to fight the Kuza beast. Also, not really looking forward to that. And I also am worried that Dolores has found her friend and that he is turned and she's losing her shit. Oh, maybe not. Hey. No luck downstairs. But I did find out that this place was more than just a prison. Something far more sinister was happening here. I know. I've been reading some of these documents and... It can't be true, can it? Oh, it's true. Bearers die every day in service of their masters, but this... This is so much worse. Pitting bearers against a wild beast armed with nothing but their wits? And all in order to bring about more death. And not just those who could fight, but the elderly, children even, and those who wouldn't or couldn't were disposed of, whatever that means. They were fed to I'm the afraid. monster. It means they were fed to the monstrosity they kept here. Then we're too late. And I was a fool to bring you here. Don't say that. Did you find anything else? A key. But it doesn't fit any of the locks on this floor. I bet if it's the one downstairs. Perhaps it will fit one of the doors downstairs. There's a corridor I haven't searched yet. Finish up here, then come and find me when you're ready. All right. I'll be there in a moment. Let's do it. Sneeze? Sneeze? I feel like I have to sneeze. Okay, now we're fine. Woo! Downstairs we go. Ooh, I wonder... So I'm wondering if I have to fight the monster in this quest, or if it's gonna be open up a hunt. Because that's what happened on the last quest. I did the quest and then a new hunt opened. Oh, shit. Let's see what we can find down here. Who 
for you. There's no need to be afraid. Are you alone? Are there any other survivors? I love when my Some stream guards. dies They're for no here. fucking reason and comes back. But something's wrong with them. Everyone else was eaten by the monster. <sighs> of course there were. Thank the founder. It was worth our coming. But I'd rather we didn't linger. Are you ready? Ready when you are. Hold it together, stream. You poor thing. Please. You must have been terrified. Theatrix sent you. What? He fought the monster. Distracted it so I could run away. He must have sent you. He promised to free the others too. Where is he? He opened your cell, didn't he? He wouldn't be here otherwise. Chadwick. Oh, no, we're fighting a monster today. Okay. Was that? Monster's back! Chadwick, help! We have to get out of here. Doris, keep the girl safe. All right. You put that bearer eating bastard in the ground. Girl, you better believe it. So that's why I try to stream kind of late. It's because peak hours, safe now. my bitrate drops to it's nothing. Out there for me. Oh my god. I can't let it live. <sighs> I if it's got a taste for bearers. Cool. No, this is fine. I can do this by myself. Of course, it's fine. This is great. <sighs> what could possibly go wrong? Where's the hole? I've oh here it is. Bro, come come on. By myself? You gonna make you gonna make me do this by myself? <sighs> it's a behemoth. Oh. Okay. Cool. The beast will wreak havoc if it ever leaves the prison. I can't let that happen. Nice try. Oh, Jesus. Torgo. <laughs> Not down the town, sir. I want this. But oh, it's level four, so that's a good, good sign. Stop trying to hit me. Well done, <laughs> Shit. Fuck it up. Fucking up big time. Oh. 
<laughs> so much shame is like a master. Come on. That's real quick. Oh, sweet. Well, that was easy. <laughs> oh, big, big yikes. Oh, that's a lot of money, though. What kind of goodies I get? I got another behemoth shackle. Cool. At least it wasn't Akashic at the same time. Finally. Can I go cut it up like a monster Dad, hunter? Are you hurt? Girl, don't talk to me. Where's the little girl? I'm fine. I think. Oh no. Is your friend's dead body over here? Oh, what's that? <gasps> no. Just what is his that? book. A diary. I gave it to Chadwick before we went our separate ways. He was here. Do you think that creature? I'm sure he fought bravely to the last. The girl is safe thanks to him. That's so sad. Chadwick, That's so fucked. You fool. Come on. We have to get her back to the hideaway. We don't want his sacrifice to have been in vain. No, of course not. I'll see that she's looked after from now on. It's the least I can do. You've adopted a child. Good job. Well, hey, we knocked out a hunt. <coughs> Just on happenstance. Some time later. From what I hear, you've barely left the girl's side in days. I hope she's recovering from her ordeal. She is. Slowly, but surely. She's far tougher than she looks. I thank the flames we found her. If we hadn't... I know. But we did. I'm sorry we weren't able to save Chadwick. There's no need to apologize. Without your help, I would never have found out what happened to him. How he fought to the bitter end to save her. To save Hyde Marie. That's the man I remember. The man I thought of as a brother. I wish I could have met him. I'd like to hear more about your past. If you don't mind, that is. Of course. Over drinks. You already met my former master. She trained Chadwick and I to do two things. Kill and obey. We were supposed to be sold to the highest bidder when the time came. But no bid was ever high enough to convince her to part with us. For years, we were her daggers in the shadows. But we could never quite shake our doubts about the things she made us do. And then, one day, we just couldn't do them anymore. So we escaped. But staying together was out of the question. They would have found us too easily. After so many years of training, the pull to serve was always strong. It scared me to think he might have taken another master, become a dagger in someone else's hand. But even in captivity, the battles he fought were his own. And he died not as someone's tool, but as a hero. Heide Marie is proof of that. Bearers can cast off their shackles. And the curse breakers will show them how. I'll fight until my dying breath to see it done. For Chadwick, and for all of us. Thank you, Doris. We'll be counting on you. This world has got some meat to it. Oh, shit. I'll take an accessory.
Now we'll talk to our guy that we brought back here. Twin sides hundreds of them. You should have seen him. Oh my god. Welcome back, Sid. Welcome back, Sid. Yes. It's a little cocky. Welcome back. Trip wasn't too much of a pain in the ass, I hope. Truth be told, it was me who suggested roping you in to help with the trial. But from what I hear, things didn't go quite as planned. No, they most certainly did not. I feel like he does. I feel like it was clever. Like, he still did what he was Ember supposed to. lost his nerve in the face of a beast of prey. But he didn't lose heart. He pressed on, and he achieved his aim. And is that not what we ask of our scouts? Indeed it is. Thank you for your honest appraisal, Sid. The fact remains, however, that Ember will not always have a battle-hardened warrior on hand to pluck him from the jaws of peril. All I have gleaned from this trial is that without someone watching his back, Ember is little more than a liability. Wait, Sergeant. Ember still has much to learn, it's true. And this time he was found wanting. I'd say he's due a second chance, nonetheless. After all, he did do as you asked. Mm -hmm. With a bit of hard work, any hand can be made to hold a blade, and any mind can conquer its fears. But a scout's nose is different. You've either got one, or you ain't. And by sniffing out that log, young Ember here has shown he has a conch and a half. <laughs> Wouldn't do to waste it now, would it? Fine. One more chance. I'll do whatever you ask. You're damn right you will. I'll spend my days and nights in the pit if I have to. <laughs> I'll show you. Just you wait. Delft as a brush there, huh? But his heart's in the right place. Just like someone else we know. And if you ask me, we've been leaning on him for far too long. True story. That time Poor Gav. Breakers took some of the weight off his shoulders, I reckon. Good night. Just don't tell Gav I said so, will you? I won't have him thinking he's been hard done by. <laughs> Next thing you know, he'll be asking for a day off. <sighs> Chance would be a fine thing. Back to work. Forgive me, Sid. This. Did not play out as I expected. <laughs> Things really do these days. But that's why we need men like Ember more than ever. Men who can make the best out of a bad situation. Remember that. I, I will, Sid. Thank you. Cool. QO. Ooh. What? God, I haven't used a removability in a while. A new quest is available nearby. Are you kidding me? Are they just going to keep popping up? Holy cow. Okay. On to the next one. Oh, is this one from our bro bro? Hey, buddy. Uh, Clive. Let's do it. I'm not sure what's wrong. And don't say nothing. Oh my gosh. It's not nothing. I've received word from Cyril. The Undying have found Father's will. Or something akin to it. What? His will. How and where? In the crypt beneath Rosalith Castle. After Kupka was kind enough to drive out the Imperials. The Undying took the opportunity to recover what relics of the duchy yet remained. And in the process of doing so, they found a letter from Father. I'm surprised anything survived down there. Cyril asked that I join him in Tabor at my convenience. I have been meaning to go, but... Would you join me? Of course. Of course. It's our dad. I want to know what's in that letter as much as you do. Very well. I'm ready to leave when you are. Hell yeah. I'm doing this straight away. <laughs> like, straight away, I want to know.
Let's see, is that this one? Yeah, Tabor. Oh, this bitch has got new items too. What you got? Are you buying or selling? Will of Darkness. Wow. Okay, you know what? Just buy it. Of course. Equip it now? No. Is that all? Oh, I guess I should increase my potion stocks. A fine choice. Anything else? Nope, we're good. Thank you. Are these men slaves? What's happening? I feel like I fleshed a hundred skins today. Mm. Working. Just working. Okay. Tell us the will. Your grace, my lord, I trust your journey was not overly onerous. Cyril, you found a letter from father. Yes, I have it here. Yeah. Let's dig into this trauma. If you would do us the honor, my lord. Huh. I know that I ask much of you in this coming war, but I see no other way to secure a future for our du duchy and our family. Yet even should we succeed in s subduing the savages and winning back Drake's breath, the threat of the blight still looms, and only with all Rosaria striving as one might we at last overcome it. I have made plans to see us through, but such are the obstacles that stand in our way. It shall likely fall to you to continue my work. I know that you have the strength, the courage, and the will to do so. This shall be an arduous inheritance, and so I offer you another, that you might be reminded of the love and the faith that I hold for both of you. Oh, An inheritance? It would seem the late Archduke penned this missive shortly before his passing. The day before we left for Phoenix Gate. What are these plans he spoke of? His plans for the duchy, your grace. Your father entrusted them to my predecessor. The former bearer of the burning quill who entrusted them in turn to me the complete emancipation of bearers is their stated aim oh but your father's dream did not end there his grace also spoke of building hospices to care for those stricken by the curse and the founding of a new university to further the development of non-magical technologies with the blight spreading ever more widely across the twins, Archduke Elwyn saw this as the only means of securing Rosaria's survival. He wished to see men and bearers treated as equals. And to see centuries of common wisdom overturned. Small wonder he did not think it achievable within his lifetime. But he thought it achievable nonetheless. Had he not, he would never have written this message. Nor would he have entrusted his vision to his most faithful aides. Those who would have stood with you. Shielded you from the machinations of the less benevolent personages at court. It's a pity only they are still with us. Mm. It is true that those most loyal to your father were the first to suffer the Duchess's wrath. But she a bitch. one at least remains. And she has come bearing gifts. What do you mean? Hmm? Mayhap it is better that she explain, my lord. Hmm? After all, the duties entrusted to me by my predecessor extended only to recovering his grace's will and arranging a meeting with the one who might execute it. Or a part of it, at least. And where is this woman? She awaits you in the archive, your grace. Thank you, Cyril. What? Shall we then? What? 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 Say what? Hmm. Hmm. I don't think I've been in the archive. I'm very curious. Your grace. 
Who are you? I... I hardly recognize you. Who are you? I am Goditha, retainer of House Rosfield, loyal servant to the Phoenix and his shields. Your father, the Archduke Elwyn, entrusted me with the delivery of a gift. I only hope you can forgive my tardiness in bringing it to you. Lift up your head, Lady Goditha. You have our gratitude for your service to our house and to our father. I merely did my duty, as any proud Rosarian would. My lady, perhaps you could explain a little more. What exactly is the gift you bring? As I'm sure you know, it has long been the custom for the children of House Rosfield to be presented with certain keepsakes upon their coming of age. Indeed it has. Our father often spoke of the day when our turn would come. And had he lived to see it, he would have presented you with the treasures I bear. Matching armbands for you both. Oh. Alas, he did not live. Indeed, he was taken from us even before they could be completed. He had intended to claim the heartstone with which each armband was to be finished himself. But it was not to be. And his gifts remain incomplete. I see. It saddens me to bring them before you, as they are. It was your father's wish that you be presented with the finished articles, not these works in progress. Is that the quest? But with his grace long since gone, and the stone left unclaimed, I had little choice. You are grown men now, and his house is yours. And while I would not presume to insist upon your claiming the heartstone in his stead, I know that nothing would have pleased him more than for you to do so. Thank you, Lady Goditha. What say you, Clive? What else? <laughs> Let's go. Of course, my lady. May our father's will be done. Oh, I am much obliged. Do you know where we might find this heartstone, my lady? I do, though it may be a matter of a good deal more than simply happening upon it. It is found in the bellies of Elder Griffins, you see. Ugh. We do at least know where to find one. A certain specimen has made its nest in Titan's Wake, not far from here. A certain specimen? You are most perceptive, your grace. In answer to your unspoken question, yes. In fact, this is the very same beast your father meant to slay. I have been tracking its movements since you were but a boy. Were you to slay it in his stead, as men of House Rosfield, it would surely make your father proud. What say you, Joshua? What else? <laughs> Alright, let's go. <clears throat> cool. Titan's Wake is to the south of here. Okay. Um. I don't want to walk all that way, so we're just gonna fasty travel down there and then walk over to it. Here we go. Well, I'm seeing some. Some things here. What the hell are those? They look mm, unpleasant. I don't want you to do any fucking weird protect shit. Joshua. Samurg. I think his name is Samurg. Oh, well, whatever. This way works too. Probably went the long way, but it's fine. Eyes peeled, Joshua. All right. 
Oh, hey. There it is. Come and get it. For House Rossfield. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I'll do more damage. I'm charging. Fire my laser. There we go. Get away from the wall. Don't you dare hit Torgal. Kingslayer, what the fuck? Shit. Shit. For the stream to come back. Oh, poor stream. Please stop dying. I don't have the uh, time or the patience for that. Tsukin and Perfect. Shit. Come on. There we go. Got him. So this is gonna be another stream I have to edit together for YouTube. That's cute. Ooh, a heartstone. This the heartstone. We did a Be God of the one that. All right, let's get back over here. Okay, man. Travel. Probably be the last quest I do just because it keeps shitting itself, I guess. I don't want to want to keep pushing it. <laughs> At least they're just little blips. The other night they were pretty, pretty well, big blips. Thank the founder you were safe. The griffin is slain then? Yep. And a heartstone claimed. We did it. Give us our bracelets. Yes. This radiant luster, like frozen flame, it is just as your father described it. Thank you, my lord. Your grace. Your father would be so proud. Lady Godetha. The lapidary is ready. Thank you, Cyril. I will be with him shortly. If you would excuse me, I shall have the stone cut and set forthwith. Some time later. The armbands are complete. Pray, take them. They are yours. After all, 
Heartstone is harder and more enduring than garnet, or even ruby. It symbolizes unwavering will and devotion. And the graven vines encircling the stone represent the unbreakable bonds between you. Aww. It's a message. Father knew we had enemies both inside and outside the duchy. Enemies who would thwart his vision. Only with unwavering devotion would it ever be realized. And only if we stood together. As Phoenix and Shield. As brothers in arms. Only then might those enemies be overcome. Indeed. His Grace knew the enormity of the task he would entrust to you, his heirs. But this was more than just a message. It was a promise. That he would always be with you. Thank you, Lady Godetha, for remaining the steadfast custodian of our father's will. Forgive me, my lady, but there is something I don't quite understand. The Undying told me that after father died, mother claimed all of the ducal treasures for her own. Even if the armbands were incomplete, she would surely not have overlooked them. So, how were you able to keep them from her? Because I was the keeper of the vault. Though I was but a lowly servant, your father spoke to me of his intentions for the bands. Of the deep love he had for both of you. And his hopes for your future. Mm -hmm. In the days before the disaster at Phoenix Gate, I discovered that the Duchess had ordered her jewellery be sent away from the castle. It was then that I knew she meant to betray us. I tried to warn your father, but it was too late. When word of the fire reached Rosalith, I knew my time was short. So I took up the armbands and I fled into the night. Wow. And thank the founder you did. Yet my duty to your father was incomplete. Not knowing what else to do, I followed the griffin, thinking I might claim the heartstone on its passing. And so my pursuit continued, until Lord Cyril appeared before me. He informed me that His Grace's will had been recovered, and that his sons were alive and well. Lady Godetha, on behalf of my father and all the people of Rosaria, I thank you for your loyal service. As do I. Thank you, my lord. Your grace, for coming back to us. For giving my service meaning. Hmm. Is it something I wear? Is it actual armor? I feel like it's armor. Oh, it is. It is not better than what I have, though. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Okay, let's get out of here. The bands suit you well. It must be gratifying to finally receive the inheritance that was denied you for so long. It is. Yeah, sure. And we thank you for the part it's you played, sir. More work for us to do, but it's fine. If you would permit me to play my part a little longer. Might I suggest that you make your way to your father's memorial atop Hawk's Cry Cliff? Let him see that you have received his blessing and that his vision lives on in you. I suppose it would be churlish not to. What do you say, Clive? Churlish. Should we pay your father a visit? What the hell's churlish? I think we should. I was hoping to be able to offer churlish. him my thanks before we left for Origin. Rude. Your father's helm just means is rude. There. Okay. It has been since, since the day we recovered it from Phoenix Gate. I prithee claim it, for it too is a part of your inheritance, and I do not doubt that your father would prefer it in your hands than perched upon some lonely rock. Thank you, Cyril. Cool. Come on, Clive. He's waiting. <laughs> where where is this located? Gotta be in Rosaria. Yeah. Oh. Oh, we've I've been there before. I went there before and I couldn't do anything about do anything there. I wondered what it was. It wouldn't let me read the stone or anything. Cool, let's go. 
unwavering will and an unbreakable bond. Do you really think we're strong enough? To save the world? Of course. To have overcome father's political enemies. Of that I'm less certain. Especially knowing what we know now. What mother was truly capable of. But perhaps these bands would have helped. Knowing he was with us would have made all the difference. Sometimes the laser beams have a mind of their own, okay? You can't can't control it. They do what they want. Alright, gotta go down here, I think. And then around this corner. Those look like monsters. I'm just gonna do this. We He's just back there. Can you see the castle from here? No, not really. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can. That makes sense. Oh, yeah, I've definitely been down here before. Didn't know what it was, couldn't do anything about it. Now we can. Father always fought for what he believed was right. It wasn't until that night at Phoenix Gate that I realized I had never fought for anything. I always had someone else to do the fighting for me. No matter how fate conspired against him, he never lost heart, never looked back, never stopped fighting. To me, he was the greatest of men. been trying to live up to his ideals ever since. Torgo's just chilling back there. We all have, Clive. We all have. And we'll keep trying. Because that's what he would have wanted. <laughs> what he would have done himself. Even... If it meant standing against the very gods in the heavens. I shall be borrowing this, father, if I may. That you might watch over us. As we follow in your footsteps. Oh my god. <gasps> Ooh, chills. Chills, chills, chills. We won't lay you down. Onward then. Onward, to the end, and to a new beginning. Hmm. Nice. This is going on my, my table, I'm assuming. Yep, kind of like three things for the table. Definitely getting close to wrapping up the game. Oh shit, what's this? Joining hands with Joshua. Joshua has joined Clive's party and will remain with him until departing for origin. Oh. Cool. That's useful. <laughs> Since I have a shit ton of quests and stuff left to do. <laughs> Alright, cool. Another new missive. 
so many things. All right, well, let's do a save. It is late, of course, but um, I do have to work in the morning, so go ahead and wrap up our stream. Plus it keeps, you know, dying. And I don't like that. I hate when that happens because it's going to give me like four different parts of a stream that I have to figure out how to mesh together in a VOD. So, fun times. Anywho's. It's my face. In the dark. Thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed and we'll be back. I'm looking to probably finish. I, I know I'm really close to finishing the game, so I'm thinking probably finish it sometime this week. Hopefully. Fingers crossed nothing weird happens. I know I've got a lot of weird work stuff coming up this week, but we should be good. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Where's my button? Bye!